Hey everyone. As you know, when creating an algorithm, it can be really helpful to understand the financial health of a company. The easiest way to do this is by looking at a company's three main financial statements. Again, those statements are the income statement, the balance sheet, and the cash flow statement. Today, let's talk about the third one, the cash flow statement. The cash flow statement provides important information about a company's actual cash flows. Because the income statement is prepared on an accrual basis, income and expenses in the income statement are not necessarily cash transactions. For example, if a customer promises to pay for a product in the future and has already received that product, that would show up as income on the income statement. But because you have not actually received cash for the product, it would not be considered cash on the cash flow statement. Because of this difference between accrual income and expenses and then cash transactions, the cash flow statement can provide important information and insight about a company. Now let's jump into how to actually read the sections of the cash flow statement. The cash flow statement is broken up into three sections. Cash flow from operating activities, investing activities, and financing activities. Let's start with the first one, cash flow from operating activities, which is all cash flow related to the day-to-day -day business operations of a company. For example, for a restaurant, cash related to paying wages or buying food ingredients or cash actually received from customers would all show up in the cash flow from operating activities section. This section of the cash flow statement can be derived in two ways, the direct method and the indirect method. In the direct method, each category of operating receipts and disbursements is listed separately. In the indirect method, you start with operating income from the income statement and then make adjustments to get to the operating income equivalent on a cash flow basis. For example, you would start with operating income and then make adjustments for things like changes in accounts payable or accounts receivable to get to cash flow from operating activities. No matter which one of these two methods is used, direct or indirect, the cash flow from operating activities section always ends with the actual amount of cash spent or received by a company from its day to day business operations. The second section of the cash flow statement is the cash flow from investing activities section. This section of the cash flow statement shows all cash related to capital expenditures of a business on things like buying, fixing, or maintaining fixed assets like property, plants, and equipment. It can also show cash related to acquisitions, such as the acquisition of another company, or the purchase of stocks or bonds. For a restaurant entity, this section of the cash flow statement would show cash spent on things like the purchase of real estate for a new location, or the purchase of new kitchen equipment for an existing location. It is important to note that in this section of the cash flow statement, it does not always show cash disbursements, and it can include cash proceeds from things like sale of equipment. Just like the cash flow from operating activities section, this section of the cash flow statement ends with the total amount of cash spent or received from investing activities. The final section of the cash flow statement is the cash flow from financing activities section, which is all cash related to how a company actually finances itself. This can include issuance or repayment of debt or equity, payment of dividends, and cash associated with certain leases. For a restaurant, this would include cash from an equity investment or cash from a loan that the company takes out for itself. After calculating the net cash received or dispersed from a company's financing activities, the cash flow statement ends with the total amount of cash received or dispersed for the company as a whole. It also shows the change in the company's cash balance from the prior year end to the current year end. There are many ways that the information in the cash flow statement can be useful to investors. Many investors believe that cash is king, and data in the cash flow statement shows whether or not a company is converting sales into cash. Earnings that are based primarily on near-term cash collections are often viewed as higher quality by investors because they show that a company is consistently converting operating income into cash. Additionally, the cash flow statement shows how a company is managing its cash flow, such as by acquiring other businesses, investing in fixed assets, or by paying dividends to shareholders. For companies that are not generating positive cash flow from operating activities, the other two sections of the statement show how the company is raising money for itself. So how can you actually use the cash flow statement on Quantopian? Well, the fact that Fundamentals dataset includes many fields derived from the cash flow statement, and these can be found under the category called cash flow. One such field is the free cash flow to equity field, 
which shows the amount of cash that a business generates that is available to shareholders and can be paid out as dividends. Using this field, you can make comparisons across businesses and determine which one is the most financially healthy. If you'd like to learn more about exploring data on Quantopian, please check out our other videos. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to learn more.